goodness. <sighs> I know that side. That's the grace and exhaustion side. What's the bother? I had a great time this weekend, but maybe it was a little ambitious for us to try and cram years worth of holidays into one weekend. No. At least the go-kart was a smash. Sure. I saw my life flash before my eyes. But the important thing is that you were in it. How about this? From now on, we leave the past in the past, and we focus on the present. And the future. That is a deal, mate. Oh. Oh. Are you okay there, Dad? Oh, chicken's a young man's game. <laughs> Where for the earring, it's gone. Okay, I might as well take responsibility, pack my bags, and move in with Dad. Hey, I think I found one of your mom's earrings on the roof. What? Dad, thank you so much. Where'd you even find this thing? Same place I found it when I gave it to your mom. On the ground, next to a go-kart. <laughs> really? Mom said that these were priceless. She did? <laughs> and I still got it. <laughs> I gotta talk to your brother, but I wanna hear more about this. Wait, so so you rebelled, everything went wrong, you got caught, and your dad's happy about it? <laughs> Teach me your ways. What can we need to talk about what happened up there? I, I'm, I'm sorry. I know I ruined our weekend. Hey, stop saying that. And stop apologizing for who you are. Wait, so you're... You're not mad at me or disappointed in me for being different? Of course I'm not. You're my son. And I love you, no matter what. Why didn't you tell me? I wanted to, but it was never the right time. Then it kind of became normal to keep it a secret. Yeah, I guess a part of me did always wonder. You know, with your mom and all? Man, I always thought that it would be me. You can't get anything past that kid. She's so smart. Not the time. Well, now that everything's out in the open, what did you think about my mom's visions, anyway? Well, if I'm being honest... Oh, did you feel that? No, but I smell it. Seaweed? Yes, it's seaweed. <laughs> Uh, the friend anniversary curse? Yes. And what were you saying about me before I came in here? Oh, Booker was telling me that he has visions. Really? He told? I felt like it was something you could have told me, right? No, no, that is Booker's story to tell. And, uh, I've been agonizing you. Well, I know firsthand how hard that can be. Remember how long it took me to tell you? Yeah, you had that vision that I proposed to you at Captain Flounders, and you said if the restaurant has two stars, then the ring better have ten carrots. <laughs> and that was the start of you not listening to me. You should have just listened anyway. I'm glad I told you. Me too. Me three. Come here. <laughs> Now, no one in this family has any secrets, yeah? <laughs> oh, finally! The spa treatment we deserve, huh? A good steam. Yeah, yeah. I haven't felt my pores this open in forever. Yo, where is my life? Is anyone bubble and squeak? Uh -huh. So relaxing. <laughs> Anniversary, Ray. Happy for anniversary, Chucks. Hey, I'm Annalisa Vanderpool from Raven's Home, and you're watching Disney Channel. Shall we try this again? Oh, look at that. I did. Raven's Home was filmed in front of a live studio audience. Good morning. Hi. Hello, hey, Mom. Booker and I are going to run to that new cafe downstairs for breakfast. We have perfectly good food right here in the refrigerator. <laughs> you know what? Why don't you 
bring me something with some jelly in it. <laughs> hey, Aliva, you coming with? No, thanks. I've got a history project on the Parthenon to finish. Oh, well, honey, you can take a break, can't you? Huh? Rome wasn't built in a day. <laughs> the Parthenon is a Roman mom. It's Greek, but good joke. <laughs> oh, really? You did? That's exactly where Booker and I are going. <laughs> Tess says the bear claw is amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you understand what she's saying? I speak fluent Tess. <laughs> See, it reminds me of England. Uh, you've never been to England. <laughs> Conveniently, neither have you. So you can't check me, boo. <laughs> Hello, Mum. Uh, can I have a cup of Earl Grey, two biscuits, a scone, and an apple just for me, mate, please? Thank you. Biscuits? Nah, these are straight up cookies. <laughs> we English, no breakfast, mate. Bonjour, mm -hmm. mademoiselle. My name is Timothée. Mia! Uh, and this is Booker, my... Cousin! I'm staying with him for a cultural exchange. Uh, yeah? Mia was just teaching me all about biscuit cookies. <laughs> They're dope. Oh. Uh, Booker, that's not rubbish. Recycling is my passion. You may have heard of the Paris Accord? The Paris Accord? I live by it. <laughs> Tim Timothy, are you planning on visiting the Willis Tower or the Art Institute or Millennium Park while you're here in Chicago? Ah, merci for the recommendations. Now I will think of you when I explore the city. <laughs> Au revoir. Booker. Yeah. Did you leave, Timothy? Yeah, bye. <laughs> and, uh, what the heck was that? Oh, what? We had a moment. He's Chamon, and he loves recycling, and he's super cute. But it's whatever. The guy was just having fun. It's not like I'm ever going to see him again. I got my keys. Okay, now I will never see him again. <laughs> oh, oh, and make sure you mention the statue of Athena. Miss Gates is obsessed with her. I forgot to mention Athena in my presentation. Automatically minus 10 points. Good looking out. Hey, kids. Listen, I know you didn't ask for our help, but I thought what kind of parents would we be if we waited for them, right? <laughs> Surprise! We made you the Parthenon! <laughs> You're welcome! Wow. That's the Parthenon? Yeah. It looks more like a gingerbread house. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna stick to my computer presentation. Oh, okay! But when we were in the sixth grade, a project like this would have put us over the top. Over the top. Yeah. <laughs> this is why Tess is here to help me. She was, how do I put this delicately, more recently in sixth grade? <laughs> you know, in this century. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, are you? What? <laughs> are you inferring that we cannot compete? in sixth grade academics? 